Hey guys, Janelle here. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be doing a talking video since sobrang dal dal ko naman, why not use it for a good sake? And I'm here talking in front of the camera, talking to you. So today I'm going to be doing a survival guide for grade 9 students or how to survive grade 9 or paano maka survive sa grade 9 anything. Bahala na yung title. So Yon, I have 10 tips for you guys. I have it here on my memo pad that I have for a freaking long time. And yay, without further ado, let's go ahead and So many started. people say that grade 9 is the stressful year out of the 4. But I guess, hindi naman siguro. Every year has its own stress level. Um, and it also depends on the person and how they cope with the stress and how they deal with it. Um, me kasi... I get stressed easily, like super stressed. It's just this and I get stressed with that. It's just that and I get stressed with that. And I'm so bad at dealing with it. Like, umiiyak na lang ako or niinis ako sa mga tao, that's, that's me. And I don't know, I just, I'm bad at it. I don't know why I'm doing this video. I'm not really good at, you know, advising and stuff, so. But anyways, it's it might help you. It's just based on my opinion. So, tip number one is time management. You have to manage your time, obviously, because if you don't, I don't know what's gonna happen to your life. Kasi, usually, on grade 9 level, madami talagang pinapagawa. Um, siguro sa first quarter, um, it's gonna be fine, then second. But if you're on the third, it'll be hard. There's a lot of role plays, reporting, and projects, and all kind of stuff. And ako kasi, I like to finish things ahead of time so that I'll have more time on what I like to do like um, um, watching K-dramas and you know scrolling through the social media. Ganun ako kaya sobra ko ni stress. And my mom told me not to um, rush things kasi may stress talaga ako but that's me eh. Actually mga kaklase ko. Nabawa, bukas yung pasahan. Tapos sinabi ng teacher ko nung isang araw. Day before the deadline, tsaka lang nila gagawin. And I don't want that. I want to take my time, obviously. Pero kasi, kapag sobrang dami, hindi ko kinakaya. Like, my mind is gonna explode. My body's um, ano, hibernating na. Like, uh, like niiyak na lang ako pag ni-stress ako. So, Yun. Tip number two is join different orgs or clubs. It's gonna add to your responsibility in joining clubs and orgs. But I guess it's gonna help you then to to learn more, meet new people, and have uh, another group of friends. But kasi usually if older yung mga kasama mo sa orgs and clubs, you're gonna learn from them a lot. And you can ask them how they manage your time. <laughs> you can ask them, obviously, kasi napagdaanan na nila yung pinagdadaanan mo. It's gonna make you a better person joining orgs and clubs. Alam ko madadagdag siya sa responsibilidad mo and stress. But it's great to be part of something. I swear to God, you should join clubs. Because it's not that bad naman. It'll be fun. Promise. Tip number three is know your priorities. Well, obviously, um, madaming sudyante dyan na ang priority is school and studying. But other students have relationships. Um, usually, kasi, pag millennials, you know, they prioritize their relationship, their boyfriends, their girlfriends, and all kind of stuff, their crush. Well, I must say, temporary lang yan. Oh, bitter. Yes, temporary lang po yan. Um, wala nga do forever, sabi. <laughs> oh my god, ayo kung umugot, but it's coming out from my mouth. It's, it's what's on my mind, so. Um, so, I guess you'll have to prioritize your study first before relationships. Because studying is like um, your key for the future. Para hindi ka maape. So, you'll have successful life soon. So, you have to study. But if you can um, prioritize both, then why not? But make sure your relationship is ano, like in a good condition. Na it'll give you inspiration to study more to strive harder and make sure na yung 
ano mo, boyfriend or girlfriend mo is better or why not the best or a good person obviously. Magpupush sa'yo to study more. So, yun. Tip number four is make friends. Kung transfer ka ng grade 9, then obviously you have to make friends. How can you survive by yourself? If, if you're used to being alone, then good, no one's gonna judge you or anything or say something about you if you're alone. But it's better to have friends. So, you'll do something happier. Kasi if you're with someone or with a group of people, syempre, you'll have someone to laugh with, to do this thing with. Yung may kasama ka sa lahat ng kabaliwan mo, it's gonna make you enjoy your grade 9 life. So, make friends. Tip number 5. Find inspiration. Ang daming pwedeng gawing inspirasyon. You can... Have your bed, your closet, your family, your friends, your crush, your idol. Well, ako, ang inspiration ko is my family, obviously. I want to um, give everything back. Most especially to my mom. Well, hindi, na mas, hindi ko naman sinasabi na ayaw kong ibalik lahat ng paghihirap ng father ko. Well, hindi ka, well uh, ayaw kong ikwento. But anyways, basta I want to give back everything to my mom. And I want her to be proud of me kasi she works hard every day. Okay, I'm naiyak ako. She's the only one um, supporting me sa, sa school, sa tuition fee, sa baon, sa mga gusto ko, ganon. And I want her to live like a Donya life someday. And that satisfies me. So I have to study hard. So, inspiration ko talaga siya. And I have another inspiration, obviously. I have BTS. May mo si Jimin. Si Jimin. Si Jimin. Si Jimin. Si Taeyong. Si Rapman. Si Yonggi. Si Sokjin. Si Jungkook. Si Hosok. Oh my God. My heart is, oh my God, my heart too. Tip number six is study hard. Yes. Kailangan mo mag-aral ng mabuti kasi... Kaya ka nga nasa school, ba para mag-aral. And don't give up, okay? Everything's hard in life. Walang madali sa buhay. If you want to pass this exam, you have to study hard. That's all. If you want to get 100, then study hard. If you want to pass the quiz, study hard. Well, hindi ako masipag mag-aral, to be honest. Um, siguro nag-aaral lang ako pag exam and quiz. <laughs> I know, I'm so bad. But, habang nagdi-discuss yung teacher, you have to listen. Kasi, hindi naman ibig sabihin na hindi ka nag-uwi ng libro sa bahay ay hindi ka na, hindi ka na nag-aaral. Pero if you listen naman to your teacher while well, you're also studying, you're listening hard. Tip number seven is ask for help. It's not bad to ask for help. Baba mo yung pride mo, girl. Ano ba? Siyempre, kawasa namang alam mo agad lahat. Well, if you're a genius, it's good to ask for help kasi... Mas may, mas may matututunan ka din naman sa ibang tao. Huwag kang mahiya. Well, ako mahihain talaga ako eh. Kaya, I don't know. <laughs> I'm always on the other side. Like, lagi na lang ako yung negative. Kasi I'm a negative. <laughs> Tip number eight is eat healthy. I don't know kung bakit kasi nung to, hindi ako kumakain ng healthy foods. Minsan ako kumain ng gulay pag may gulay. And I love fruits, by the way. So, Hindi naman ako ganun kahilig sa junk food. So, I guess I'm healthy. Have to eat healthy. Nare-recommend ko talaga ang kumain ng healthy kasi, syempre, kung lagi kang sakit then, paano ko makakasurvive ng grade 9? How you're gonna handle stress, physical stress, mental stress, and emotional stress if you're not healthy? And don't forget to exercise as well kasi it's gonna make you fit and more healthier. Yun, eat healthy. Tsaka para mas may energy yung brain mo and your body mo in everything that will come in your way. Tip number nine is pray. Yes, don't forget to pray. Recommended. He's gonna help you. He's always there for you. And just pray that every stress that you have in your body would just go away. Like, hindi niya tayo iniiwan. He loves us with all his heart. He saves us. So we have to thank him back and thank thank him for everything you have in life pray mo na sana maging okay ang 
school days mo from Mondays to Fridays. Sana walang masama mangyari ng old camp stuff. I always pray for that. Kasi I don't want anything bad to happen. The tenth tip is have fun! Obviously, kung hindi, hindi ka mag-e-enjoy sa grade 9 life mo, ewan ko na lang. Hindi mo kailangan maging, alam ko, sobrang seryoso ng mga tips ko. Um, you can do that too, but you can have fun as well. Kung gusto mong maglako at siya, paminsan minsan, huwag naman araw-araw mga mom siya. Um, if gusto mong maglako at siya, okay, go, magala ka. Give time to yourself. Um, have something that can remove your stress. If you want, mag-jogging ka kung yun ang nakapagpatanggal ang stress mo. Kumain ka ng madami kung yun ang nakapagpatanggal ang stress mo. Or hang out with friends. Or read books. Go to mall. Shopping. Or fan girl over there. Manood ng k-drama. Yun, give time to yourself. Kasi it's not bad naman to um, give yourself a time, give yourself a break. Kasi kung hindi, masosofocate ka sa mga bagay-bagay. If you're gonna take things so seriously. Don't forget to laugh and smile and giggle and everything nice. Ayun! Yun lang po yung mga tips na nandito. I really hope um, natulungan ko kayo sa mga grade 9 dyan. <laughs> and I hope you survive. I swear, makaka-survive kayo. Just enjoy life and do good things. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I know, sobrang daldal ko. Ang dami kong nasabi. But that's all I have. It's based on my opinion, but if you have another way of how to how you cope up with the grade 9 life, then you can share it on the comment section below because I'll be reading them. So, yeah, and that was just about it. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to follow me on my social media accounts. Links will be below. And... Yeah, and yeah, that was just about it, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! I'm like TT.